morning. We're going to stay on top of the major wildfires that are burning in Colorado right now. The biggest, of course, the Spring Fire in Costilla and Huerfano counties. And we have been tracking this one every step of the way for you since it started last week. So here is where it stands as of right now. More than 53,000 acres are burned. It is only 5% contained this morning. And there is a man in custody accused of starting this massive fire. News 5 Sheila Gerard joins us live again from Morfano County this morning with more on the firefighters plans to attack that fire today. Sheila. I remember we're just off of Highway 160. That wind starting to pick up a little bit this morning and I want to show you this all of that haze and smoke from the distance. That's all from the spring fire stretching out for many miles and as you can see I mentioned we're just off of Highway 160. State Patrol still has this road shut down. No word yet on when it's going to reopen but some good news the type 2 Rocky Mountain Mountain incident management team blue is going to assume command of the northern end of the fire that starts this morning and that's going to add about 60 firefighters all working to get these flames under control. Fire bosses say they're expecting an additional 700 firefighters in the next few days. In addition to crews already at the fire, there are four air tankers and nine helicopters battling those flames. If you're wondering why the super tanker isn't out here, well, that's because it's currently fighting fires in Sacramento. But Incident Command is working to get the super tanker out to this fire. Now, evacuees got an update over the weekend asking for progress on the fire and any update on the status of their homes. And for many, like Marge, it hasn't been good news. They've been going in and out of that area. And I asked him to let me know if he got any news, and he informed me on Saturday morning my house was gone. Shock. Shock because the fire had already passed. It was already south. And it spot burning started back up, and that's what started this whole thing going north now. The man accused of arson in starting the spring fire is not a legal U.S. citizen. According to immigration officials, 52 year old Jesper Jorgensen is from Denmark and will be turned over to ICE at any point he's released from custody. Fire officials say Jorgensen started a fire that led to the spring fire, but they didn't elaborate on what he was burning at the time. No word yet on when evacuees will be able to return to their homes. Of course, this is something we're going to keep you updated on for now. You're going to stick with News 5 today and the News 5 app for the very latest. Watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Shayla Gerard News 5. Thank you, Shayla. We're also watching out.